exhibition is called 30 Americans and displays paintings, drawings, photographs, and sculptures. The idea is that African Americans are simply Americans. Sarah Newman, curator of contemporary art at the Corcoran, says the show is as diverse as the artists themselves. This exhibit just is so remarkable because it gives a sense of the, the last 30 years really in developments um, not only in contemporary African American art but in um, contemporary art in general and you really get a sense of the way generations interact with each other and you get a sense of the way identity has been figured um, throughout time. The pieces come from the Rubel family collection in Miami, Florida. Donald Rubel says the show examines themes such as slavery, civil rights, and the representation of blacks in popular culture. A lot of the artworks here deal with very specific points in time and sometimes very difficult times in history, sometimes very joyous times in history. Photographer Hank Willis Thomas combines advertising photography with images that refer to slavery. This one is called Branded Head. And Branded Head to me speaks about how African American slaves were branded as a sign of ownership and how today so many of their descendants brand themselves with the corporate brands that we wear. Thomas also has this photo in the show. He has a separate exhibit at the Corcoran with more of his photographs. Basketball and sports are a major American spectacle and uh, a major American spectacle of 20 of the early 20th century was lynching. Baron Hawk Williams came to see the artwork. He was impressed by this painting from artist Kahinde Wiley. You normally wouldn't see a beautiful painting of a black male. Thank you, I've been waiting to see something like this for 23 years. Painter Nina Chanel Abney created these portraits. Rubber gloves is something I typically use throughout my work and I initially started using them to identify figures who were maybe protecting themselves from harm or maybe being involved in some type of their dirty work that they don't want to take responsibility for. Shanique Smith, a sculptor, says she finds inspiration in the urban landscape. She uses trash as treasure, recycling used clothing, old magazines, even garbage she finds on the street. She used a variety of materials to create her female fantasy warrior. Plastic tablecloths, there's designer clothing mixed with old futon covers. Um, so in some sense, we're all connected by the things that we purchase and discard um, through consumerism. The exhibit is on the second stop of a three-city tour in the United States and will be at the Corcoran until mid-February 2012. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.